bumpers flare between two of the throttle's key employees. Pat James kisses Michael Ballard's ass. I walk into the bar and I see Pat heading up into the DJ booth. I better get up in there and quick. Holy <laughs> what just happened? Don't follow me. I'm dead serious. Let's go, pussy. <laughs> Boundaries are crossed when a patron shows too much skin. Her thong is the exact same size of what I clean my teeth with. You know, we don't allow nudity at the full throttle saloon. You're gonna have to put a thong on at least. We're not a strip club, we're just a bar. And the security team is put to the test. We need everybody back to the vendor gate. We got a fight. One of my top security guys, he's done and gone. I got goat now, not inside the bar DJing. Michael and the full throttle are pushed over the edge of sanity. And when Sebastian Bach messes with the wrong guy. This is the only band that's giving anybody any trouble. There is a chance right now that it might be Team Full Throttle wrestling Team Bach. Michael takes matters into his own hands. If I have to come back there, I'm going to get my damn money. If I take out your fat ass right now, you want me to come back there? I'm on my damn way. You're going to get your ass here. Closing time, people don't want to leave. They think, hey, it's the rally. We're at the throttle. We want to party all night long. We're going to have a massive push, obviously, to get everybody off the establishment. So God knows what's going to happen tonight. I didn't you're push gone for the shot. night. I didn't push yourself. OK? And you're I gone, you're gone for the night. Shot. The bar may close at 3 AM. But for the full throttle staff, the party's just getting started. <laughs> Locked me out of the damn bar. Michael <laughs> told me to shut the door. Oh, you do everything Michael tells you to do? Yeah. I don't. Well, <laughs> that means you kiss Michael Ballard's ass. That no, oh, James oh, kisses Michael Ballard's oh, ass. Oh, the guy that writes my check no, tells oh, me to do something, oh, I do it. If it was someone I didn't know real well, I could probably take it with a grain of salt and be done and over with. But when it's someone that is kind of a friend of mine, then it really does hit a nerve. Go and spend time. Look at these texts that Michael said. Who suck? Who suck? With all the tills finally counted out, Angie wants to talk about the prenup. I want to sign that because I want your mind to be at ease. Like, I want you to have peace of mind. But the most important thing to me is I want all the animals if something should happen. Well, not all of them. Yes, Michael, I'm the one that takes care of all of them. Like, they're my whole heart and soul. I would give up everything I have. Just... Emmett's the throttle. He's the full throttle. You Emmett. bought Emmett for me. You said no more dogs, and then you brought me an ass. You know that. He has to stay with the bar. I mean, come on. he's. He's happy here. He's got 30 acres to walk around on. He, customers love him, and he loves them. You got the business side of it, and then you have the emotional side that you love that person that's upset. You don't ever want to see them cry. So it's kind of a tough battle. That's Even, all I care about. I know. Like, that's all I care about is my animals. I tell you what, I, I, I know that. You can't take money to heaven. I know. I am not signing that prenup until I know that my dogs and my cats and my bird and everyone's coming home to me and it's in writing. Just don't don't worry about this. I'll have them totally redo it. We'll revise it down to what it needs to be. You'll get all the animal stuff that you want and then we'll be good. I don't want her to feel like she's going into something that she completely hates. I want her to feel like this is okay. I'm not talking know, about saying, possessions, Michael. I'm I just know. talking about I my I know dogs. the animals. I love you. And my bird. I know. And my cat. I don't. You can have all the animals And my spiders. I love you. You ain't never getting rid of me anyway, OK? It's tough, but we're just going to take the time. We're going to get with my attorney. We're going to put in the things that makes her feel better. And then we can get it signed off on and move on. We'll get it fixed, all right? promise we'll fix it up. <sighs> oh, 
I hate to leave the throttle right now. It's such a busy day. I've got Jerry Springer coming out, wants to tour the place. Cinderella's headlining tonight. And I got Meat and Grease with Sebastian Bach. On top of that, we have the Sturgis Baddest Bagger Show. But first, I'm headed to Black Hills Choppers because I'm building Jesse this ultimate Bagger Nation street glide. Michael has commissioned a custom-built bike from world-famous bike builder Paul Yaffe as a surprise for Jesse, but it's nowhere near ready. Damn, that looks worse than it did yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> have y'all been working here all night? Yeah. So what happened? We just had a little setback, but uh, we just got through it. I'm giving Jesse this bike because he's giving his bike away at America's Ultimate Biker Contest. So he's going to be bikeless. <laughs> we need to have it there before three. We got to the point where we're just waiting for parts. The framework and all the rolling chassis and all that part of the bike has been done in Tennessee at our shop. And Yaffe is doing all the custom work at his shop in Phoenix, Arizona. So today, we meet. I know everything's coming ahead, but we've just got a few hours. All right, we'll get it there. All right, thanks. We'll, we'll make it happen. All right, bro. You good? Don't worry, man. All right. I know they're busting ass. They're doing everything they can do. We're two hours from the show awards, and I know they're more than an hour away. So I don't see this thing happening. This is the busiest this rally's ever been. When you're dealing with Cinderella, Sebastian Bach, all these guys are great guys, big guys. They're out doing their thing, and we got to be ready for them. This morning, one of the bartenders pulls me to the side and tells me a story about Pat and Goat. There is some serious <laughs> went down last night. I'm not surprised that somebody in South Dakota might own a gun, but if he has to pull it out and put it in Pat's face, that's a death wish. Goat doesn't know when to shut his mouth, and Pat's got a short fuse. This is a recipe for disaster. Make some noise! All right, ladies, crash your boobs. Pat, Veteran bartender Mariah, who quit after opening day of the rally, suddenly shows up. Yeah, go ahead. Mariah, looks like, um, looks like she cracked. For what? I don't know. Mariah and her sister leaving the property and just up and quitting like that is total BS. I can't believe she pulled that. If I had my say in it, that girl would not be coming back to the throttle. Well, I'm not quite sure what Mariah is doing here, but she's one of our top ringers. I'm eager to see what she has to say for herself. How we doing? Oh, nice to see you guys. Hey, you too. How you doing, sure. Good to meet you. It feels good oh, walking back on the property. Whoa. I see where the good looks came from. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, so you guys are back? It's in conversation. I needed a couple days to relax, and I felt so bad that I got upset. And then all of a sudden, I decided to up and leave. That was not good. You bummed me out. I'm sorry. I got a really good girl from Mariah Station. She's ringing high tail. And she's earned that spot. We got to bring the family back together here. Absolutely. She brings the highest heels in the house. So I don't know what to do with her. Coming up, Michael's beleaguered security team is put to the test. Hey, mommy, let's go. Right, 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 right. We need everybody back to the bending gate. Hey, 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 no. Oh, and later, two of Michael's key employees are at each other's throats. Knock me out, big guy. Knock me out. I better get up in there and quick. So, uh, so you guys are back? Yeah, we're good. We're good. Yeah. <laughs> you bummed me out. I'm sorry. You know, she's family, though. She's been with us for years, and so we're going to just put her back on. So y'all going to come back to work today? What about you? Following her. 
good deal. She still has to try to show me up, so. She's got to fill her wallet this week. <laughs> that damn electric bill, dude, probably. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. Good Thank to see you. Sir. Yeah. Michael has a big heart. He let them both on, so I need to now deal with the aftermath of about 40 bartenders that are mad about Mariah coming back in. Thank you. So what'd you promise? I promised her. Uh, Don't lie to me. <laughs> just her spot back on this side of the bar. Mariah, sweet talk Michael into rehiring her. I got a really good girl for her spot. She was doing a good job, and Mariah's back. Just say she got sick. Everybody knows what happened. She got sick. She got sick. Now she's well. <laughs> Doesn't work. So I've got to kick the other girl off the main bar, and I don't think that's really fair to her. She's been nothing but kind. She hasn't complained. I love my girl I have out there at night. She might be OK, but she ain't no Mariah. Oh, I love you to death, but... Mm. How you doing, bud? Good. Pulled a gun on me and stuck it in my face. He did what? Pulled a gun on me last night. Kidding. in my face. He's got a gun back there? Yeah. Last night, reportedly, Goat had a firearm and either aimed it at or in Pat's direction. I don't know what to believe at this point. We host a bagger show at the Full Throttle every year, which is a custom-built motorcycle competition. Jesse, cut out there here. Let's look at these bikes. I'm eager to see what's out here. Jesse, engine our judges. Look at that. Damn, boy. Check that orange bike out. Yeah. You're dealing with guys that are so talented in the industry building these motorcycles that blows your mind. How are you guys doing tonight? All right. Hey, I appreciate you coming out and supporting American Bagger Magazine and Paul Yaffe's Bagger Nation and the Full Throttle Saloon. I still haven't seen Paul or Jesse's new bike. Our goal is to unveil that bike to Jesse and give it to him. The last granddaddy award for the baddest bagger belongs to Doug Eggleston. So right now what's on my mind is, is where the hell is Paul at and where's Jesse's bike? Tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock, we leave the full throttle. We do the Hoyle motor ride. And, uh, uh, and uh, he's the whole reason we're all here today, to be honest with you. Right now I'm just making up stuff to say because I'm, I'm just praying that I see Paul pull up on that brand new street glide. Uh, just to give you a little bit of an idea of some of the things that's going on, if you haven't seen the schedules, tonight we got Sebastian Bach and Cinderella playing tonight. Tomorrow night is Colt Ford and Tanya Tucker. And of course, Jesse and Jackal boys are going to take the stage on Thursday night and tear it up. I'm sweating bullets. So we'd love for you guys to come back and hang out the full throttle with us for a while. And... Finally, I heard the bike, and I seen Paul coming from a distance, and I knew that he was bringing it in. This is my best friend right here, Jesse James Dupree. A few years. Last year, last year during the rally, Paul built me a bagger that was just badass. And for all the that this guy's done and put out for the Full Throttle Saloon, I got with Paul Yaffe, and we built Jesse a bagger for this year. Here it is right here. I'm on stage listening to Mike tell everyone about the events that are coming up at the throttle this week, and I hear this motorcycle coming inside the bar. And I'm upset because somebody's being rude while my brother's up there talking. And I, I'm about to reach around the PA and say, hey, shut that damn thing off. Thank you so much for coming out and being part of the 2012 rally. But I got to say, I love these guys right here. You know, it's hard to get stuff over on Jesse because he knows so many people and knows everything. So it was hard for us to keep this quiet but I know we, we totally grand slammed this one out of the park. Today was the first day he was speechless. He was totally out of his element. Congratulations, Jim. It don't get no bigger and badder than this. I couldn't wait to put that thing in the wind. I, I didn't want to be rude and just say, thank you, see ya. But I was so ready to get it out there, man. And it fits me. I mean, it's like it's form-fitting, badass, ultimate. I was speechless, and it takes a lot for me to be speechless. All I can say is just.
All right, hey, welcome up, everybody, from Close Salute. How y'all doing? Oh, my God. The one they call the hero, the one they call the captain, Mr. I Got a Nice Ass. Fat change. <laughs> Play your boyfriend's name. You son of a bitch. Oh. I walk into the bar and I hear Goat raising all kind of hell. I turn around and see Pat heading up into the DJ booth going after Goat. I turn around and see Pat heading up into the DJ booth going after Go. Knock me out, knock me out, big guy, knock me out. Knock me out, all right, hold it. Holy what just happened? I cannot believe that Pat punched Goat. Hell, I can't believe that Goat took that punch. That's a hell of a knock. I'm suing this in the face. Pat James is slugged me in the face. I'm Who? suing this Who slapped you? Pat James, this place, I'm getting serious. They're going to get in the fights, what they're going to get to do. Don't follow me. I'm dead serious. Pat! Did you slap him in the face? Yeah, because he pulled his gun on me last night. He stuck pulled it in his, it stuck it in my face. Because he was drunk, Chewy wanted his beer out of his camper when I got off work. And he walked by and he's like, what's your problem? I said, you pulled your gun on me last night. That's my problem. He goes, then do something about it, bitch. you. That's how rumors start. So I smacked him in his face. And this happened off property. And you know, I don't know if Goat had a gun or not. It's all hearsay right now. What I do know is that Pat punched Goat in my bar while he was clocked in on my time clock. So Pat's got to go. You want me to leave? I'll leave, Michael. That's fine. Um, yeah, today I think you ought to. That's fine. See what happened? Yeah, I didn't see it, but I, I heard broke, it. I got in between them and broke them up. I just sent Pat home. That's bull Got it, man. I hate that. This really sucks because with everything that's going on right now, I really need Pat. Michael's the bad guy here. And I didn't threaten nobody. So he comes up and right. slugged me in the face, right. slugged me in the back of the head. Dude, I was an innocent person. You were here last night when we was drinking. Last night, it's time for me to go to bed. And all of a sudden, my window gets broken. I'm going, what in the hell is going on? I'm drunk, and I carry a gun. Then I see Pat James. I pull my gun up. It's still holstered. No bullets in it, no nothing. I hold it up, and I'm like, Pat James! I picked who I'm taking up for and sticking no, with. I, I, understand. I, I, I sent him off, you, doing you know that. what I mean? So I appreciate you doing that. Stay here, don't leave. I just sent his ass down the road. Here's one of my top security guys. He's done and gone. Yeah, I got Goat now not inside the bar DJing on one of my big nights that I got. I got VIPs coming in. We got 40,000 people coming through the doors throughout the day. I need them people entertained, and I need to make sure they're protected, too. So I'm losing on two fronts with that. We have a meet and greet with uh, Sebastian Bach tonight. That meet and greet will need some extra coverage backstage. We've got Pat off the clock for punching Goat in the mouth. Senior, myself, Flanagan will be spread extremely thin. Use your heads, be smart. Most of all, guys, be safe. Heads up out there. I'm back. It's kind of bittersweet. Everybody's probably going to be mean to you today, but it's my fault, so don't take it personally. Not worried about it. My little sister Marina 
is an absolute victim in what happened. She had nothing to do with the reason why we left. Oh, this is a mess. When we decided to come back, I knew there were going to be some hard feelings. I knew people weren't going to be happy with us. I do have reason to be a little perturbed. I just came in brand new from a different bar. They had put me behind the bar. I was the first person you saw when you came inside. I guess Mariah decided to come back. Now, since she's been here and she has seniority, what happened to me? I got sent to Siberia all the way in the back. So I went from the first person you see to maybe you might see me if you're drunk in a corner and you want to stumble over and get a beer. I invited Nicole to come out to the throttle. Her dad was in love with the full throttle saloon. Danny passed away this year and he left me in his will. So I feel compelled to make sure she's having a good time. When I first got here, it was a lot to take in. It's crazy at first. The part that I've seen, you know, is the hectic part. People running around like jackrabbits. When I first got here, it was a lot to take in. It's crazy at first. The part that I've seen, you know, is the hectic part. People running around like jackrabbits. It'll take a lot for me to come back. Be sure to be on the lookout for a guy with light brown hair with a ponytail. He's tipping over bikes in the parking lot. You know, so our security's already stretched thin, and I hear somebody's pushing bikes over. Some of these bikes are 100 grand. I would kill somebody if they pushed over my $100,000 bike. A woman just came up and told me that the guy who's tipping over bikes is over by the main stage. Whoa, 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 whoa. Break up. Coming up, Michael's headliner is a no show. If I have to come back there, I'm going to get my damn money if I have to take out your fat ass. And later. Well, I just want to you, you mother. Yeah. At the end of the day, I'm not getting out of my money. Michael thinks we're going to be taking on the whole bus. I'm down with that. Me too. I'm going to taste the out of Sebastian Bach. A woman just came up and told me that the guy who's tipping over bikes is over by the main stage. Somebody's been kicking over $100,000 custom bikes, and security gets word that he's in the infield. You're falling down. You're knocking over everybody's bikes. What do you come with? Take the infield. Where are they? I'm about to throw you out. So are you throwing all No, just you. Anytime you're dealing with somebody intoxicated, it's a challenge in itself. You're gone. Grab him. Get out. See you later. I just it's time for you to go, my man. I'm not causing problems. Yeah, you are. Hey, man, he's got my They're usually on an emotional roller coaster. You don't know if you're gonna get the happy drunk, the angry drunk, the drunk who's urinated all over himself. You have no clue. Go home. Don't come back. If you come back, we're we'll calling me. So good to I see you. I told you I'd be back. Jerry Springer is cool as hell, man. Year number two, he's making the full throttle saloon an annual tradition. And I'm glad to see he's still riding. Welcome back to the throttle. We're happy, happy to have you back, Thank sir. You. We Thank got you. two of our finest that are going to be walking around with you, making sure you're safe and secure. This is so much fun. Well, they love having you here, that's for sure. ride a bike. I don't know how to ride a bike. <laughs> Jerry Springer is a badass. This year, he even mustered it up to ride the zip line. I hope that he keeps coming back every year.
Daniel's office as a senior. At what level of nakedness are we allowing on top of the bar? I'm in the surveillance office. Where's she located at? All the way at the end. Her thong is the exact same size of what I cleaned my teeth with this morning. You know, we don't allow nudity at the Full Throttle Saloon. We can't let that happen. That's not part of our license either. We're not a strip club. We're just a bar. Does she work for us? She don't work for us, does she? I don't know. Hey, hey, come here. Come down out the bar. Come here. I want to have a conversation. Am I in trouble? Yeah, a little bit. No. A little bit. If she works here, her ass is gone. All right, we just talked to Mr. Ballard. That's the owner of the establishment. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. You work here? Are you employed here? No, I'm, we were here earlier, and we talked to the manager about it. Mr. Ballard, I'm talking to her now. She's not employed by you at all. So that's OK. We'll let customers raise some hell, but she's going to have to put a thong on at least. All right, roger that. After confronting her and talking to her, we found out she doesn't even work here at the throttle. She's just a customer up there trying to dance and have a good time. We're all about having a good time. She's going to get dressed properly and back to business. That is way too thin for you to be dancing on this bar okay, and having half of your coin slot hanging That's out. That's our rule. Okay. All right? Fine, so let's do I that now. I didn't know I wouldn't have done it. I was here earlier and nobody said gotcha. anything. Well, we're so. saying something now. So okay. if no, you can just do that before you get back up on the stage, totally. we'd appreciate it. Yeah. All right, thank, thank you. Thanks, here at the Full Throttle Saloon, you absolutely never know what's going to happen. You never know what you're going to get here. Today, without Pat on the property, we are spread pretty thin, but we do our best to get that job done. As the throttle gets ready for Sebastian Bach to take the stage, a group of VIPs who paid $100 each wait patiently for the promised meet and greet. Where's the meet and greet at? What meet and greet? Hey, Chris. Hello? Sebastian Bach was to open up for Cinderella, but his road manager cut a deal with us that Sebastian Bach would take 30 minutes before he plays on the main stage to come out and do a meet and greet for 25 people. With that, we would book an extra set of rooms in Sturgis for Sebastian to have an extra night. Michael gets word that Sebastian Bach's tour manager is changing the plan. Where's Sebastian at? We're, we're waiting on this meet and greet. I flipped it from us from now to 11. He wants to push the meet and greet to 11 o'clock after Sebastian Bach plays his set. Yeah, at this point, we've told him to come back at 11 to the back fence here, and that we'll start pulling on. Just knock on the bus and say, hey, the meet and greet deal that Full Throttle had set up with you was 25 people. And so can you come yeah. just get it done? Yeah. At 11, though. You know, I always have problems out of bartenders and different people that work for me, but the one thing I don't tolerate is the drinking on the job. Oh, I'm going to put a stop to it. Mike was way upset, but to find out that this girl is Nicole, she is not letting up on me. She's supposed to be this shy girl, and here she is on the bar, showing her true colors. I've never drank before, but it feels good. It's fun. I danced on a stripper pole. I got tips. <laughs> I had fun. I had one weird shot in four of Ballard's uh, moonshine. Nicole hasn't really experienced much in life, from, from what I understand. And so just to see this girl drink and have fun and have that freedom is just a really great experience. Yeah, yeah, he's had five shots of moonshine. Yeah, he's had five. Come drink that moonshine stuff. It's really good. Nothing ever goes to rest in Las Vegas. Sebastian Bach. We want to dedicate this next song to anybody.
You know, with Pat being gone, we've had to take security and move them around tonight. Looks like they moved a guy from the vendor gate out of there, and all hell's breaking loose over there right now. That's messed up. I might have to get in the middle of this one. The vendor gate that we have is, there's people just been walking through it for free. My, one of my great friends sat over there and watched about 20 people just walk through that back gate. We're charging at the door. Can we secure that gate? I don't care if you close it and lock the mother And no ends are allowed in, only outs. Things are starting to get out of control. I knew this was going to happen. The wheels are coming off. That's the way this place operates. It's chaos. We need everybody back in the gate. We got a fight. Good copy. You're good copy. Copy. Come on, come on, come on. What's going on? Talk to me. Cut up. What's going on? Talk to me. He was apparently grabbing his wife and twisting her arm behind her back in a verbal and physical altercation. Guys, just back off. Just back off. Let him go. 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 Are you sober? I hey, am. Are you with them? I yeah, absolutely. am. Just relax, OK? You know, I'm really proud of the security staff that's here. We're busting at the seams, and we're stretched. We're short for security, but they're getting the job done. Between headlining acts, Jesse keeps the crowd fired up. The top four from today's competition is moving on to the next round. In the top three, get a custom Dean Jesse James bourbon guitar. <laughs> tonight's competition will be the slow crawl. The slow crawl is probably one of the most well-known biker games that there is out there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, for heat number one, Adam and Taylor, on your march, get set, pa -pow! A good biker can ride fast, but a great biker Ride slow. Oh! Got Adam wanting over here. Ah, yay! Fellas, I expect to see a better performance out of Bill and Bill. Pa -pow! You count them off, go! And then they just move like turtles. Feet stay up. Bill, yay! Steve and Ed coming up next. It's the last one across the finish line. The guy that can balance his bike without putting those feet down, that's a winner. Gentlemen, for being in the top three tonight, I would like to present to you this custom Dean, Jesse James Bourbon Brandy guitar right here. Cinderella's headlining the show tonight, and uh, it was really cool because when we got to meet the guys, you know, they love the full throttle. They've heard about it. They've been wanting to play it forever. I told, I told I our tour manager about yeah. it last year. Cool. I was like, I called him, I was like, can we play full throttle? <laughs> yeah, we'll That's see. Awesome. I've always been a big, huge Cinderella fan all my life. The guy sounds like no other. When you hear his voice, you know who's who's playing on the radio. How you doing, man? I'm Mike. Brother, how are you, man? Nice to meet you. I'm the owner. Nice, nice to meet you. Yeah, glad to have you guys up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Cass, you got a good crowd out there. They're looking forward That's to hearing right you. Here, man. Yeah, they're looking forward to it. It'll be fun. It's going to be a fun night. And so it was great that them guys were really wanting to play here for years to hear that, you know? Is Angie around? Yeah, yeah, I'll grab her. It's really neat to be in a situation like I found myself in with Cinderella. Hi, Angie. Hi, I'm a big fan. Yay! <laughs> I'm so glad you're here, man. That's, you know, Cinderella. And you know, I have a unique opportunity of being close to them, and it's it's a kind of a neat feeling. I'll see you, okay? All right, All right see you, baby.
Cinderella has taken the stage. But backstage, the VIPs are getting antsy. Don, have you, have you said anything about coming out for a Sebastian Bach's supposed to come out and sign autographs. Oh, where's he at now? So he's on his tour bus. Hey, Having some drinks. I just missed, like, the first three on Cinderella standing here waiting. And that pissed me off that I had customers there to meet him, and then he didn't come off the bus. Y'all want a beer? I'll hook you up with a beer. What do you want? What, what do you got, Mc, Mc Ultra? Yeah. I'll grab, come on. After talking to his disappointed VIPs, Michael hunts down Sebastian Bach's tour manager to straighten things out. <laughs> One minute, the guy's a tour manager. Next minute, he's just a bus driver. At this point, I just want my money. I'm going to get my money. All right. so, I, I don't want to deal with it no more. I want my I want you to get the bill from the hotel. Yeah. And I want my money back for that. Okay. All so, right. In the story. All right. So I'm talking to his road manager, see if we can figure it out. The deal was he was going to meet our 25 people. We would cover it for one extra night for two rooms, and that bill was $660. They did not come off the bus to meet our people, and our people got frustrated and left. I tell you, we live there. No one came to tell us to get out. He's just got this story that goes up and down and curves around to every direction. And the guy beat us out of 600 bucks. I need my $600 back. Listen, I understand you live in the rock and roll dream, but at the end of the day, I'm not getting out of my money. And I'm not letting us have it. What the ever? I was at your bus at 11. This is the only band that's giving anybody any trouble. If I have to come back there, I'm going to get my damn money if I take out of your fat ass right now. You are the most unprofessional person I've ever met. I'm on my damn way. You might, I'm on my way right now, and it's going to get Coming up, trouble brews between Michael and one of his headlining bands. There is a chance right now that it might be Team Full Throttle Wrestling Team Bot. Oh, I just want my just want no, Plus. Hey, you know what? At least I ain't pulling a gun on you like some people. Pat's back, and he's pissed off. Let's go, pussy. I'm on my damn way. I'm on my way right now, and it's gonna get. This is the only band that's give anybody any trouble. Hi. Hi. Mike had obligated to some VIPs that they would get a meet and greet with Sebastian Bach. But for whatever reason, it didn't happen. Michael thinks we're going to be taking on the whole bus in a minute. I'm down with that. Me too. I'm going to taste the out of Sebastian Bach. All right, guys, come here. There is a chance right now that it might be Team Full Throttle Wrestling Team Bach. No one can produce okay. the, the evidence you guys say you have. Okay. Where the f is it? Mr. Ballard's right no here. No one's coming up with the, the evidence that they say they have to prove that it was a scheduled meet and greet. Well, I just want to you, you mother Fine. You're running the wrong way now, mother You're going to get your ass What is going on? Sebastian, come here. Let's meet. I'm the owner. Here's what happened. They made a deal with us mm -hmm. that you guys were going to come out and meet 25 people that were here. They didn't make a deal with I me. I never heard nothing about it. I had customers there to meet them, you know, and I don't think Sebastian even knew about it. That's up. He looked like he done had a bottle of wine in him and a couple of firecrackers went off in his hair, but he was just oblivious to all of it. Oh, That's like a joke. The road manager wouldn't come off the bus. The guy lied. He didn't tell Sebastian what the deal was. All I want is my money and I'm going to get it. I guarantee you, if he would have come off the bus in front of Sebastian, the truth would have happened right then. It's clearly not going to get straightened out tonight. I'll deal with this thing in the morning. All right, let's go, guys. Let's get I'm going to call my Skid Row albums. Did you see it? What's happening? I don't know yet. I'm tired of listening to lying. All of them's lying. I swear to God, I finally just had to turn around and walk off. I wasn't involved directly in whatever went down between Mike and Sebastian Bach, but I do know one thing, that when you're in a band, if somebody's messing with your road crew, whether they're right or wrong, you stand behind them. And that's exactly what happened this time. It's a drag, because the damn night was a good night. I told them they've done a great job. Mike, are you on the frequency? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm on here. Pat's trying to pick a fight with security. He's talking to Chris right now. Is Pat drunk? Yes. Pat, wait. Well, don't tase him. Let's go, pussy. <laughs> I'm fired. You are not fired. Stop crying. Can we call Stephanie and get your balls back real quick? Oh, so you're... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, I'm glad Steph's got your balls in her purse. Go lay down. <laughs> Being a pussy. Turn your radios in, let's go. Anybody left with radios? Yeah, I got one in my hand. Come get it. Can I add it? Seriously. There you go, thank you. Love you, Pat. Chris, at least I ain't pulling a gun on you like some people. And that's okay, I guess. What did he get? Not a thing. <laughs>